How's the gaming? I'm Phil the Blanks, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Land 2. We are so close to the end of the game. We're in Chain Link Chamber. Uh, I think we've only got like three more levels than the quote unquote boss. Weirdly enough, this world does not have uh, a boss like at all. It's a very weird little thing that they put in this. Uh, they put it in Country 2, but they, they kept it in Land 2, so interesting. Uh, this is pretty much just a. A bramble level, pretty much without the brambles, uh, is just a crazy amount of climbing and the kind of grid-like pattern of the chains. Overall, though, it's um, it's not super difficult if you just take your time, simply because, you know, it everything's kind of confined to these chains, so it's not like you're you're jumping on things. I mean, obviously you get off the chains every so often, but it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. This far in the game, well, I mean, I still get hit because I'm me. <laughs> but uh, this far in the game, you'd expect it to be a little bit more difficult. But it's definitely not, not anything you can't handle. Stars, click the stars. Whole chain link level, and you didn't put a chain link bonus round. Disappointed in you, rare. That's okay. Just makes it easier for me. How many prem coins do we have? We need 47 at the end of the game. Where it goes in the middle? Yes, it is. 43! Holy nuts, we are very close to the end of the game. That is pretty, pretty crazy. I don't know if you get one from the last boss, so I think you can actually maybe go into the um, last world without beating him. I'm not sure, I don't remember now. I guess we'll find out. We should be able to... I think we might be able to actually beat the game today. It won't be the end of the series, because there's two endings to this game. Uh, but if it's anything like Donkey Kong Country 2, you need to beat the game once in order to kind of get the post-credits game, I guess. The uh, post-post-game post, post, uh, post -game content, which uh, has a second ending and the second final boss. Wow, yeah, it's hard to... I never really thought of it in that term before. I'm actually not a big fan of post-game content. I'm very much like a... Like, I want to be able to do the stuff and then beat the game. Uh, but... Everyone wants post-game content on literally everything now. And as a Let's Player, I don't think it's very satisfying to be like, we beat the game, all right, the next 10 episodes will be post-game content, and it just, the game just ends. Do you know what I mean? In this, at least the post-game content, ah, uh, jeez, has an actual second final boss and another, like, version of the ending. So to me, that, that makes a lot more sense. I'm fine with that. But, where are you? Nice, nice. 44 Prem Coins, three left. Holy moly. I think it's 47. He said 47 last episode, right? I'm pretty sure. God damn. It was not fast enough. That's okay. Still doing great. I mean, I've got a ridiculous amount of lives, so we will be fine. I hear someone shooting a cannon. Where are you? Are you not down here? Okay. That was weird. Where was it? Was it up here? No, just the, um, swingy folly guys. Okay. Oh, jeez. There it is. Oh, gosh. <sighs> At least knowing the sound was there, that kind of prepared me. I, I would have ran right into that if I wasn't, like, being wary you out. Dangerous. Pfft, careful. King Zing. Not King Zing, just Zinger. I'm away. I'm away. Go, 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 go. Oof. And yeah, there we go. Nice. We're so close to the end. Chain length chamber, and now a slime climb, I think, is next. Toxic Tower. That's what I meant. Sorry. Uh, slime Climb is like the second world. No, uh, this is kind of the same idea as Slime Climb. Uh, there is a poison thing kind of coming, and you become a good chunk of the animal buddies to get out of the way. Uh, so it's a bit of a time-based thing, I think. I don't know if it's uh, if it's like Slime Climb, where it waits for you to get to certain parts before it catches up with you, or if it's just a slow, continuous kind of climb of the uh, weird acidic water to come at you. Doesn't matter. We don't want to give it a chance to touch us, because why would we want that? Past? Oh, there yeah, there it was. I saw it at the corner of the screen. 
so it does come up at certain places. We got Radley. Radley's got a super jump, so keep that in mind. Just hold select for a little bit. He kind of winds up. There's a bonus round. That came out of nowhere. Just kind of just there. I thought that was going just the right way, but that's okay. Bonus round means crumb coin. That was ridiculously close. Yeah, we've got both of them. 45! So close. Careful, careful. Don't want to go back down, basically. Normally in most games, it'd just be like, oh, it's okay. Oh, oh, it didn't, it, the uh, toxins or whatever didn't catch up with me. Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. There we go, DK coin. Nice. Nice. There we go. As I was talking about, you can kind of walk off of a ledge with Radley, and you still kind of have that stored jump. Very weird. Very weird. Get him away, Zinger. Oof. That was really, really close. Wind up right here. Woo! Jeez. Quite the jump. There we go. I think we have a squawks section as well. Wow, we just hit the midway point. Oh, boy. Follow the bananas-ish. Careful, though. Don't follow them blindly. It's like following a GPS blindly. It's like, turn left, but there's no road here. Yes, but the GPS turn left, and turn left is what I will do. Good job, Michael, from the office. Yeah, there we go, squawks, okay. Yeah, we've done a good job. Like, we basically just caught a glimpse of the toxic water, like, once, and then hasn't really happened again, so. I don't think you have to go very fast to be able to pull this off, so. Life, not that it matters. Psh, dang. Do careful. Ooh, double hooks. No, thank you. More double hooks? No, I guess not. Oh, DK Barrel, thank you. Makes my life a little bit less hectic. There we go. Big time. It's definitely not in any hurry to catch up with me, so. Well, not a very difficult level, I guess. Nice. There we go. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh, the banana. A lot of zingers, jeez. Oh, there we go. It's a little section of climbing, it looks like. I think overall we are there. Oof. Oh, oh, and some lives. Wow, they're really powering up right before the end, eh? There we go. And now for the quote unquote boss stronghold showdown, right at the very top. So instead of an actual boss, you have this kind of weird, like, I guess they were calling it like, it was like almost like a little cinematic. It's like, there's Donkey Kong. Oh no, Donkey Kong, come back. Oh, I think in the original game they give you a crime coin for that. Like, it counts for some reason. Then we got the Flying Croc, the last world, which only has one level and a boss. Uh, it was in the original game as well, and it's just this airship. And before that is Screech's Sprint, which is a, uh, a race against Screech, which is kind of another uh, another parrot. Down I go. That was, that was death. Again, kind of cool they kept that for the Game Boy release. Careful. Jeez. Now we go. Bear off the bonus room. There we go. Find the token. This is the last bonus game of before beating the game. Oh, dang. Oh, crap. Well, that sucks. I can go right back, I think. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> All right. Easy enough. Avoid. Careful. Beetle. There we go. Oh, it's just, okay, just, ooh, jeez, that was close. Never mind, never mind, it's okay, everything's fine. Wait you out. There we go. Jeez. Oof, just made it. 46, yep, so the, I think we get a Crim Coin at the, uh, at the last boss, because that's the last bonus round. Damn. Good thing we got DK Barrel. There we go. Okay, and, ooh, jeez. Where do I become Screech? I thought I was supposed to become Screech. Or no, sorry, uh, raise against Screech. I become Squawks. 
Ah, I do not need you. Ooh. Come on, grab on. There we go. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Ooh, I don't like that at all. That was not fun. Oh, here we go. There he is. And once we go here, we're basically, we have to race him. Stay in first place. There is still the DK coin, so we still have to kind of, kind of explore a little bit while we're trying to rush, which is very, damn, very um, tense, especially with this music, man. Careful. Don't need the Kong letters anymore. My goodness, do I not need them? You're doing pretty good. There we go. Nice. Come on, no, come here. So many zeros. Ah, damn. Oh, come on, really? Oof, almost ran right into him. Okay, there we go. There's the DK coin. Now we just need to get to the end of the level. Follow the arrows. Yeah, the music's really, <laughs> really intense. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh boy. I would love a DK barrel, please. Jeez. No, guess not. Crap. So they were still in first place. I, I think it like actually gives you a big number two on the screen if, uh, if he does get in front of you. So I think we're still doing pretty good. Ooh, this feels very lengthy. Oh, down with dangerous. We go up here. Okay, we're going fine. We're doing fine. So close to the end. Ah, oh, damn. Mm, crap. I started the way the at the beginning of the race, don't I? Okay, well, whatever. I'll just meet you where I was. Damn. I think this is where we were. I'm not sure. Still doing good. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Wow, we were right at the end, too. Jeez. Okay, well, that was easy. Awesome. And with that, we are at K. Rule Duel. It's crazy that he has his own flying airship and it doesn't, like, become a, a level or anything. In fact, like, the background's not the ship because it wasn't country. But it wasn't a land, which is a shame. Um, he's almost the same as he was in Country 2. Uh, he's got the blunderbuss and everything. You pretty much just have to avoid his shots. Uh, and then when he shoots a barrel, you just grab the barrel. Uh, sorry, you uh, jump on the barrel, get a cannonball, and throw it at him. That's it. He doesn't teleport either or become invisible like he did in Country 2, which was, which was good because I hated that. It made no sense. Is he a wizard? So, it's pretty simple. The second fight with them post game is way harder. This one's pretty easy. Oops! Oh, that was a good timing. There we go. After the first like round or whatever, the first uh, thing you get a DK barrel, so that worked out really well for me. Ooh. It was a little bit slower because you don't have a lot of screen time to kind of see everything coming at you, so it's fairly simple. Oh, jeez, that was really close. Careful. Again, nope. Oh, jeez. Wow, that was really fast. I don't know where. Spiked ones. I love how they're spiked, as if, like, the, there's a difference between the spiked ones and the non-spiked ones. Come on, is that it? Yeah, there we go! We beat the game! Donkey still gets the final punch. I love that. And down he goes. Flash. Yay! And that... It's Donkey Kong Land 2. And it shows that we have 34 out of 40 of the DK uh, coins, showing that apparently Yoshi and Mario are better video game heroes than Diddy, which is probably very accurate. Kind of interesting, all three of those characters have been in Smash Brothers. Uh, but yeah, then we get the little, the little uh, character, like not staff role, but like character, cast a character thing. Diddy, Dixie, Rambi. So it's weird how, like, um, they still have the DK coins to be, like... Like, cause in, in Country 2, the DK coins were there as, as, uh, Wrinkly's... Not Wrinkly's, um, Cranky's, like, video game hero coins, basically. And, and the, the thing was that 
Yoshi had his that, that however many he got in Mario 39 to show that they were real video game heroes. And it's like a, a personal challenge from Crank Kong. So the goal is to get 40 and then he raises you as an ultimate video game star. In this, like, he's not even in the game. Funky and Wrinkly are there and Cranky is nowhere to be seen. That's kind of funny. The baddies. Captain K rule, there he is. Overall, they did a really good job with this game. Why is King Zing the second? That's a weird order that they've done. Crow, hello, Crow. With the limited, um, like, like Game Boy is a limited uh, platform, even even for when it came out. So it's impressive that they were able to do this. And people were like, "Who the hell's Clubba?" If you didn't go to his uh, his kiosk and, and, and he asked you for, for money, you'd never know who that was. Kaboy. I love how all the Kremlings have K's at the beginning of their name. Cruncha! I always forget your name, Cruncha. Clamp on. Clinger, yeah, that makes sense for these guys. It's so weird that they actually, there's no rope there. They just sprited it so that it would, like, that blank spot would be where the rope would. Clobber, that's his name. Click Clack. So now we have the non Kremlin names or characters, so they don't have K's in their names anymore. Click Clack would be kind of perfect. Neat, his little mouse is very cute. Zinger, yeah. And those are actually the same uh, uh, as, as they were in the first game. I think they might be the only, the only enemy in Country 2 that's in Country 1. Oh no, there's Neckies. Kind of. They, I mean, they are the same enemies, like they're called Nikes, except they have a pirate version of them in, in Country 2, so they act the same, I'm pretty sure, but it's cute that they, uh, they, they gave them a little bandana and pirate outfit. Yeah, the order's weird. It was like Kremlings, then non-Kremlings, and now Kremlings. Yeah, it's weird. I guess Crockheads are technically Kremlings. I guess they're like the Crocodile characters, so. Never really thought of that. The underwater enemies suck. <laughs> is that all of them? It is. There we go. Now we get the fun music. I think that's the it's the bonus round music, I'm pretty sure, like the when it tells you what to do, but I think it's also uh, supposed to be Swanky Con's music. It's cute that they kept it in there, in some way. Nope, pretty, pretty good. Original game. I like how they, wow, so they, so they do count Country 2 as the original game, and this is not the original, this is a port. I guess that makes it official. I guess, I don't know. Mind Nintendo, produced by Rare. Played by me. Now what, do we get a big the end, or? Nope, right back to the title screen, that's okay. Uh, we have a couple seconds, so I'm going to see what happens when we go back to Club and we'll see our our um, menu here. 89%, 2 hours and 3 minutes with 47 Kremlin co or, uh, Krem coins and 34 DK coins. Not bad, not bad at all. So we'll go talk to Club we'll Pay him the money. Stop right there, you land lovers. Guess what? Shut up, I got money. Here you go. There we go! The Lost World or whatever it's called. With that, we'll start that next time. I'm Phil the Blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.